Alright, so a lot of you love the video that I created for reading, comparing, or compare and contrast essays. So now I'm actually going to go into talking about essay structures, which a lot of you requested for. And comparing is also known as compare and contrast. So if I interchange between the two, then please don't worry. So we are covering essay structures, as you know, and if you like this whiteboard style, then give it a thumbs up. So generally, there are three main types of essay structures in regards to compare and contrast essays. What exactly are they? Let's find out now. I'm going to be using the books Great Gatsby and Macbeth as a comparison. If you're not studying these books, it's completely okay. You should still be able to understand exactly the procedures I'm going to outlay ahead. So essay structure one. Let's do this. This structure is quite popular and you may know it and it is known as a block structure. So what exactly is a block structure? So the reason why this is called a block structure is because it's literally placing your texts and discussing them in blocks. So I'm just going to write down paragraph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 on the left hand side so that it's clearer for you how this would look like in an essay. So, if our first text was to be on The Great Gatsby, then we'd spend majority of the first half speaking about Gatsby and the second half talking about Macbeth. Pretty straightforward, huh? What type of things would you talk about? Well, in terms of compare and contrast essays, you're looking at similarities and differences between the two texts. So, you may touch base on how both of them are tragic heroes in their own way. And that could be paragraph 2 and paragraph 4, talking about their similarities. Then with paragraph 3 and 5, what you could do is point out some differences. Gatsby ultimately undergoes a downfall because of his naivety. And I know I've written paranoia there. I'm so sorry I got confused between the two texts. So try not to do what I did where you accidentally switch up the two. Paranoia should be under Macbeth and naivety is under Gatsby. So this is what a block structure would look like. Now let's have a look at our second essay structure, which will be an alternating essay structure. I've left introduction and conclusion behind because they still exist in all of the three different types of essay structures. However, what we're doing now is we're alternating between the texts rather than placing them in chunks or blocks. So paragraph two is text one, paragraph three, text two, paragraph four, text one, paragraph five, text two. Now, Text one is Great Gatsby and text two is Macbeth. So what you'll do is instead of spending the first half of your essay on one text and the second part of your essay on another text, you'll be spending the first part of your essay looking at similarities and the second part looking at differences. So when you look at similarities, you can point out how they're both tragic heroes, but with their differences, you can talk about how their downfalls were attributed to different reasons. And this, my friends, is an alternating structure. By the way, if you like what I'm doing here with this whiteboard and having this voiceover, then please give me a thumbs up so that I know I should be doing more videos like this. Let's move into essay structure number three, the last and final one, an integrated structure, or you can know it as a side-by-side -side analysis. So as usual, I've left introduction and conclusion there because that's still relatively the same. But for paragraphs two, three, and four, what you'll find is that you'll be writing about both text one and text two at the same time. So you can see here how it starts to get a little bit more advanced because you have to deal with both texts at the same time. So like before how I mentioned that you would focus your first part of the essay on a block, so either a certain text or alternating, so on a similarity or a difference. Now what we're doing is, because we're talking about them both at the same time, we can base these paragraphs on certain themes that overlap and then point out the similarities and differences between the themes that we are analyzing. So G stands for Great Gatsby, M for Macbeth, S for similarity, and D for differences. As you can see, it is definitely a more complex way of going about things. However, this essay structure often offers a lot more in-depth analysis of the two texts. So that is an introduction to different types of essay structures. Would you like me to explain more in detail? If you do, then comment below. Let me know what you're concerned about and what you're unsure of. And I'll try to answer that in my next video. Also, don't forget the flash sale that I'm doing for our VC study guides booklets. They're only lasting one day. 
So get onto it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video because it was a little bit different. It was a lot more of me drawing. But if you guys like that, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more reading and comparing or comparing contrast essay uh, based videos, then let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already because we've just hit 7K subscribers and I would absolutely love to have you join our family here on Lisa's Study Guys so that I can help you on your journey to achieving whatever your English goals are. Until next week guys, see you then!